just imagine paying one price and suddenly getting access to chat gpt cloud gemini and more all under a single dashboard it sounds like a dream right that's exactly what ai feasta which you are seeing on the screen right now is promising but how does it really work and most importantly is it worth your money or it's just smoke and mirrors today i will break down the pricing the token math the hidden risk and how this entire model depends on open ai's rules stay tuned because the reality is way more interesting than the marketing so this ai feasta calls itself an all in one ai hub for about rupees 999 per month which is approximately 12 dollars they give you access to multiple ais gpt4 cloud gemini and many more so you don't need separate accounts you don't need to manage billing with different companies it's all under one subscription and now coming on to the pricing okay here where the things gets interesting so ai feasta offer 4 lakh tokens per month if you will scroll down here you will see what they have mentioned 4 lakh tokens per month in the faqs so it sounds like a big number right but it exhausts very quickly let me tell you but let's compare it with the open ai's api model uh, which is pay as you go with open ai's api model for just 20 dollars you can get around 1 million tokens 2.5 times more usage ai feasta is cheaper upfront subscription but it has fewer tokens and open ai api it gives more tokens for power users but requires setups and pay as you go billing so ai feasta is very convenient for light users but if you are heavy ai user you actually get less value per token compared to directly going to the open ai let me explain you the two open ai models okay so how the business model works for the open ai they have two different products one is a chat gpt user model so which is customer facing so it is what most people use it's 20 dollar per month for chat gpt plus unlimited conversation no tokens to track and one is the open ai api which is a developer model this is for the business and developers it's pay as you go based on the tokens now what ai feasta is clearly using is the api model behind the scenes so they buy the tokens from the open ai then give those tokens to you under their own pricing structure so what they are doing isn't building any new ai it's more like repackaging the api with their own subscription model now coming on to the legal angle so here's what most people don't know open ai's business terms are very strict they specifically say you cannot buy sell or transfer api keys to others you cannot resell api access as a standalone service so when a company builds a business that simply gives people access to open ai models through their own api account they are stepping into a very risky zone it doesn't mean that they are breaking the law it means they are relying on open ai's goodwill so if open ai decides tomorrow no nope, this isn't allowed okay so that company's entire business could be shut down overnight so if we just summarize this whole video regarding the pros and cons of ai feaster so coming on to the pros it's single subscription for the multiple ai is no technical setup needed very attractive for beginners but what are the cons token limit is very lower than the direct api usage value per token is weaker entire model depends on the open ai and others allowing it user faces risk if the provider access is revoked so what is my final verdict like should you subscribe or not so if you're a casual user who just want to try different ais in one place ai feast is very convenient and beginner friendly but if you're serious about ai and you want full value flexibility and long term stability it's safer to go directly to the source which is the open ai or anthropic because at the end of the day ai feasta is a middleman wrapper surface it's not world's most powerful ai's one subscription uh, like it might look like something big uh, from the words but it's just a middleman wrapper service and wrappers can disappear if the companies behind them change the rules and that's the raw truth behind the ai feaster would you trust a wrapper service for something as important as ai access comment below i want to hear your thoughts don't forget to like subscribe and hit the bell icon because i have got more deep dives into the ai startup world coming your way until then stay sharp stay curious